They're helping domestic and sexual assault survivors regain control of their lives. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Laurel Hess and this is Comcast Newsmakers. Joining me now is the Executive Director of Turning Point, Sue Coates. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. You've been around your organization an awful long time, 35 years. Uh, I know you're based in Macomb County, but you really serve uh, a wider area in Southeast Michigan. Uh, how has your, your mission, your philosophy really changed uh, since you started 35 years ago? Well, Turning Point started with a, a hotline and a, an emergency shelter, yeah, thinking that those two things could end domestic violence in a person's life. And over our 35-year history, we've learned how complex domestic violence is, how much support survivors actually need to uh, regain control of their lives and heal from this uh, violence. And so our services have evolved to meet all of those different kinds of needs. And today we provide not only emergency services, but also a great deal of support services. Um, we do a lot of support groups. Domestic violence really isolates people. And so uh, part of that healing is reconnecting people with their community and the resources. It also affects children, so we have extensive children programming as well as advocacy. Wherever survivors are reaching out, we hope to have advocates there to help them and support them with information, um, you know, as they try to navigate very complex systems. So obviously working with uh, the survivors, the folks that are, are the victims, um, it sounds like you also try to get to the root causes as well because I, you know, ultimately someday we'd like to not have to have an organization like yours because the, the numbers of, of victims are so low. That's our goal too. And so we are, uh, you know, working on every level to end domestic violence. Uh, we also do prevention education in the schools, to, uh, teaching kids about equality, equal relationships, what consent and coercion look like in dating relationships, as well as looking at, um, you know, ha helping move our systems that deal with domestic violence to a more survivor-centered focus. Um, so, uh, yeah, so we're working on every level, and that is our goal, to put ourselves out of business. Are we making strides, would you say, in the last few years, uh, the courts or the criminal justice system or the, the first responders, uh, folks are, are more aware of how to handle situations, how to better deal with victims, or are we sort of, uh, you know, stuck maybe uh, not really serving the people that we should be correctly? You know, that is um, something that we struggle with all the time because in some ways we've made great strides. The, you know, even the fact that domestic violence is considered a crime is, a, is progress uh, from 30 years ago. But, um, but we still, every day, you know, bump up against those same kinds of uh, barriers where uh, people don't quite understand uh, exactly what survivors need or um, do things that uh, really complicate their ability to leave. Um, you know, we also understand that domestic violence is an economic issue, that if people don't have the economic means to leave a situation, that it becomes very, very um, difficult and unlikely that they can leave. Uh, but are there certain signs, if, if you're a victim, you, you know it, but if you are a friend, a relative, uh, a, a, an onlooker, are there certain signs of somebody who may be being uh, abused, and then what do you do? Who do you turn to? Well, I think the, uh, the looking at the actions of the abuser is typically the best way to figure out if somebody's in an abusive situation, and things like isolating and... Um, you know, cutting people off from the contact with their family and friends and uh, so that really all the victim has at that point is the abuser to rely on. Um, so that is one huge thing. And then there's verbal, verbal put downs and, um, you know, other ways to demean and degrade somebody. And don't ignore it, obviously. Reach out, get them some help if you can. Thank you so much for joining us today. For more information on Turning Point, please visit turningpointmacomb.org. Today's Comcast Newsmaker was Sue Coates, the Executive Director of Turning Point.